Welcome to Islands, where learning really is an adventure. The sixth level primary course takes children on an exciting journey to imaginary islands, where they uncover clues, solve mysteries, and of course, learn English. The opening pages of every unit introduce the theme. They offer a fun, vibrant way to present the vocabulary and grammar of that unit. Children are introduced to the vocabulary very gently. The words are taught with the help of flashcards. The pupils learn the vocabulary through a series of instructions. First they hear the word and point at it. Then they listen and repeat the new word. They also do a listening task. They hear the word in a chant with more new language. Then they do another more complex practice activity with the look box, which explains the grammar in a simple form with an ask and answer technique. Finally, the pupils are given a special challenge or quest which asks them to find a secret object hidden in the unit. A special song tells them the object they have to find. In this unit, students have to find a blanket for the baby dragon. As we move to the next lesson, key vocabulary is developed and recycled, with plenty of opportunities for practicing the new words in a different context. A song reinforces vocabulary and invites pupils to sing, play, and use the language. In islands, children practice all four skills. They may be listening while they read, or speaking and then identifying or tracing, but the skills are taught together and in context. Right from the beginning, children practice integrated skills. In every unit, pupils follow their new friends in a funny story that consolidates both the vocabulary and the grammar of the unit. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the cake. Values introduces social responsibility. And the homeschool link invites pupils to share what they have learned at home with their parents. The phonics section of each unit helps children to sound out the letters and form the words, so they learn to read and write in a natural way. Islands also makes the critical connection between English and other content areas, such as science, social studies, and other curriculum subjects. Here is a simple lesson, nothing too complicated, but a great way to introduce the connection across the curriculum. The unit also includes a cross-cultural section where the children learn about other customs around the world. Finally, we close each unit with a game, a good way to review and consolidate the language from the entire unit. As the children play the game, teachers can observe what pupils have learned. An all-important progress check section assesses learners and learning outcomes. The I can check boxes give children the chance to evaluate their own progress and to feel successful. And it's not over yet. When they complete each unit, students can visit the wonderful online world of islands where characters from their book come to life. Here they can practice all their new language through an endless variety of interactive games and activities. This unique online world engages the children, making English learning more exciting than ever before. We hope you enjoyed this brief journey to islands. 
To find out more about this series, visit the island's website at www.pearsonelt.s/islands.